Welcome to Evening Prayers from Stamford Methodist Circuit this evening, Monday the 14th of August, with me, Tony Law. Wherever you are and whatever time of day it is for you, you're very welcome within our online community. This week, taking the theme from our prayer handbook, our headline is Servant of All. We're looking at what this meant in the life of Christ himself, and we shall take it forward into our own lives of faith. Today, we recognize and reflect on the fact that Jesus, the servant of all, was always ready to be available for others. So let us, in this our online community, come quietly into the presence of God, <clears throat> who when Christ was and is always ready to do far more than we are able to ask or think. So we share this opening prayer from the older version of our Methodist Covenant service. Let's pray. Let us adore the Father, the God of love who created us, who every moment preserves and sustains us, who has loved us with an everlasting love and given us the light of the knowledge of his glory in the face of Jesus Christ. Let us glory in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who though he was rich, yet for our sakes became poor, who went about doing good and preaching the gospel of the kingdom who was tempted in all points as we are, yet without sin, who became obedient to death, even the death of the cross, who was dead and is alive forevermore, who opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers and sits at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. Let us rejoice in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, by whom we are born into the family of God and made members of the body of Christ, whose witness confirms us, whose wisdom teaches us, whose power enables us, who waits to do for us exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. All praise to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And so to our reading, Jesus is traveling, and a blind man begging at the side of the road knows who he is and calls to him, interrupting his journey. Then they came to Jericho. As Jesus and his disciples, together with a large crowd, were leaving the city, a blind man, Bartimaeus, which means son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called to the blind man, Cheer up on your feet, he's calling you. Throwing his cloak aside, he jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked him. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. Go, said Jesus. Your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. We could choose many readings. Tellings of times when Jesus looked for some time to himself but was interrupted. He healed them, taught them, fed them. He was interrupted by people asking searching questions. What must I do to inherit eternal life? Who is my neighbour? There were a synagogue leader and a Roman official coming to him because of someone else's need, Jairus's daughter, the centurion's servant. 
There was the crippled man whose friends were so concerned for him that they broke through a roof, interrupted Jesus' teaching and asked for healing. There were the disciples, afraid in a storm when Jesus was asleep. There were people who came miles to see him. Later, there was Thomas, who hadn't been with the others when the risen Jesus first came to them. Jesus made himself open and available to Thomas. There was Saul, Paul, to whom Jesus came personally on the road to Damascus. It's a pattern. Jesus, whatever he was doing at the time, was open and available, willing to interact, willing to act for others. His heart went out to them, the gospel says, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And all this, of course, is the fullness of the incarnation. God coming in Christ as a human being to live and stand and be alongside us in our life's journeying. Jesus, God alongside then and God alongside now, risen and freed from the bounds of space and time to be with us, for us, every step of the way. Our hymn in Singing the Faith is number 297. And so we share our prayers. Christ is alive and comes to bring good news to this and every age till earth and sky and ocean ring with joy, with justice, love and praise. Living Lord, Lord of joy, we pray that your world may never forget to be joyful. We are grateful for all that is good in our lives and for those special moments when your joy breaks through. But we know that there are many for whom joy is a distant memory or an impossible hope. Servant of all, be present in your world. Heal us, help us, and bring joy to all. In your mercy, hear our prayer. Living Lord, Lord of justice, your prophet called for justice to roll down like rivers in flood. So we pray for your justice in a right use and distribution of the world's resources, of land, material, food and wealth. For those of us who are privileged, 
We pray that you will give us your eyes to see what we must do. And we pray that those with great responsibility may match responsibility with caring and caring with true justice. Servant of all, be present in your world. Heal us, help us and bring justice to all. In your mercy, hear our prayer. Living Lord, Lord of love, you loved your own to the end, not with indulgence, but with deep understanding and with caring. We pray for right relations here on earth, both in our personal interactions and partnerships and in our corporate dealings one with another. Let love be real in giving and receiving, not grasping nor confining, but able to acknowledge and support each other's strengths and weaknesses. May we in love, share the joy of learning to be whole. Servant of all, be present in your world. Heal us, help us and bring love to all. In your mercy, hear our prayer. Living Lord, Lord of praise, in worship we learn to praise you. May all people share that learning, whether they know you as we do or by some other name on some other shore. Breathe your Holy Spirit into our hearts so that we may rightly praise you not only by the words we speak, but by our actions. Servant of all, be present in your world. Heal us, help us, and bring forth praise from all. In your mercy, hear our prayer. And we share the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our blessing from today's prayer handbook was written by Julian Pursehouse, the chair of our Methodist East Anglia district. God of infinite and earthly love, Captivate our hearts and minds that we may serve you gladly, love you faithfully, and find Christ in all we meet. Amen. Thank you for sharing this time together this evening. Wherever you are, whatever your faith, may the blessing of God be on us, God alongside us, and God unbounded be with us all this evening and always. Amen.